Hello everyone, my name is Shuck and Not Stirred. And my name is Supermaster K1. And this is our Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series. Every week we'll be opening up a box of either a core set or a side set of Yu-Gi-Oh! product and just keep going in chronological order till we've got nothing left. The winner of that week will be spinning a prize wheel with some fun and interesting stuff to help beef up our decks over time. But that's enough explanation. Without further ado, this is the TikTok Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series. Alright, so here we are back at the winner's wheel. So, we squeaked out a win last game because we were on Chaos. Personally, I don't really like playing Chaos much, but we got Cyber Dragon, so we'll take that as it is. Came up in a couple of the games, so here we are back in the winner's circle. I really want one of these three pips because that equals Cyber Dragon. Anything else? Just... We want another Cyber Dragon. Ooh, that was close. Uh, but yeah, no, that is a super rare wild card, and I already know what I want right off the bat. I want a second copy of Cyber Dragon. So we are absolutely going to take that, and we're going to slam dunk it into our collection, and we're going to get right on in to Dark Revelation Volume 2. All right, so here we are with the next set, Dark Revelation Volume 2. I am so hyped for this set. So, this is a reprint set. It goes all the way up through Invasion of Chaos. So, in the ultra rare slot, we've got such greatest hits. Like, Sed. BLS, which is banned. Uh, Demok is fantastic. It's so good. Uh, let's see. What else do we have in the UR slot? Blowback Dragon's not bad. Invader of Darkness is bad. Uh... In the rare slot, we've got things that we would love to see, like Berserk Gorilla. Uh, that's about it. Special Hurricane could be neat in a future. You know how I mentioned uh, Diamond Dude Turbo could be interesting later in a budget variety. Special Hurricane's used in that. In the super rare slot, we've got Defusion and Zayborg, and most importantly, more Ryu Koki. I'm never going to say no to more Ryu Koki. And the common slot, we've just got a lot of interesting ones. Chaos Sork is a common. We're going to complete our playset of Chaos Sork. That's going to happen. Trust. Uh, Ojama Delta Hurricane is used in budget Diamond Dude Turbo Brews, which is very funny. Uh, Energy Drain is not the worst card you could be playing. Uh... Beyond that, Neobug was used in insect strategies for the longest time. What else do we have? <laughs> Skullmark Ladybug was used recently in the uh, TCG meta nowadays because it was used in tier limit matchups back when the Shizu tier limit was played. And as long as you could end at higher life points than your opponent, if it went to time, you would win. It was very funny. Let's see, what else we got here? A third agent of creation, Venus, wouldn't kill me. Dimension fusion in the common slot. Monster gate for reasoning gate combos. Wall of revealing light is never a bad pickup. King of the swamp is an interesting pickup for later. And that's really the biggest things. So let's get to our pity packs and see how we can do on that. Five pity packs of tournament pack six. Let's see how we do. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. Dark Balter is not a terrible pickup, I guess. And I don't think so. That's about what I expected. So let's get to Dark Revelation 2. 24 packs of Dark Revelation Volume 2. Let's get to it. Uh, Smashing Ground is a thing that exists in this world. I don't need another Night Assailant. Does not mean that I need Lakunga. I did see Wall of Revealing Light, though. That was nice. Uh, no, not really. Nothing here. Uh, Monster Gate. Uh, don't know what to tell you about this pack. <laughs> Oh, here we are. Chaos, Emperor, Dragon, Envoy of the End. This means that no matter what we spend in the rest of this pack, we're keeping this. I don't know what to tell you. 
There are a few things I still want to see, though. Why is that pack one fewer cards than normal? Anyone else notice that? This this pack is missing a card. Huh. Strange. I was trying to see if I could scroll to the bottom and see what it was missing, but no, nothing that I can notice. A Berserk Gorilla is a pretty cool pickup. Hmm. Wall of Revealing Light still not bad. Smashing Ground. Huh. I would like a Chaos Sork or something. Uh, King of the Swamp's not bad for later. It can be useful in some things. There's another Wall of Revealing Light. It's another King of the Swamp. That's at least not bad. Another Manju. Okay. It's a pretty alright opening. I mean... We got said, so I can't complain. We really love a third chaos work, though. But even if we don't get the third chaos work, getting CED makes up for it. Last pack. You know we're keeping this. We can't pass up Chaos Emperor Dragon, but I am going to look down here real quick to see if I did pull something that I wanted but didn't see it because sometimes I miss things. I don't see it. Well, that's unfortunate. What is that? What? <laughs> oh. So, I will see you in the deck building. Okay, so here we are with Dark Revelations Volume 2. Um, there isn't a whole lot that I'm looking for out of this set, but there are a few things that I will bring up if we do pull them. If not, no big deal. So let's get into the pack opening. Right off the bat, a um, couple things to talk about. First Sarcophagus is a bad card very bad it is a worse version of destiny board where in destiny board's case if you get all the pieces of it out you win the game um with this one however um you get a subpar monster um and strike ninja is bad like currently in this format it's kind of bad it's got built-in evasion but the evasion is not good Not really much to talk about here. Grand Maju can be important much later down the line, but for right now, it's not worth really talking about. <sighs> not in here. Dark Mirror Force is certainly a card. Like, I don't know what else to say here. Monster Gate is something that I might look into. We could do something with Monster Gate. I'm not positive, though. That might be for something later down the line. Dark Magic Attack is a bad card. I will always say it's a bad card because... Jesus. Especially in this format right now. God. Terrible card. It's almost like it got offended and came back for seconds. Um, Age of Creation... Uh, bleh, stumbled there. The Agent of Creation Venus is decent if we can get a couple copies of mystical shine ball or if we have some already we might consider running that number three it, was it something i said uh getsufuma is actually a pretty interesting card for the mirror match for dead rat um we might side this we might put this in our sideboard if bell is ever back on dead rat for a considerable period of time um draining shield is also pretty good uh, if we can get maybe one more copy of that it'd be pretty good um a copy of age of creation venus but no shine balls to go with it i haven't really been getting a lot outside of um the dark magic attacks wall of feeling light's good we only had one copy from when we opened it in the set that it was printed um so a second is nice it does get semi-limited for a good amount of time i don't even know if it's semi-limited currently but eh, it's something uh, Gigantes is a really good pull. We need this for Dead Rat. And Reload is a card. 
It's a fine card. I don't know what we would put it in, but it's fine. Nothing here to talk about. Another copy of Venus. Again, just nothing here to talk about. Archlord Zerato. Cool. It's a dead card. We would need the tribute of Warrior of Zera while also having a field spell in play. Cool. That's another copy of Draining Shield, and that's another copy of Gigantes. Might be doing something here. Might be doing something. And then we'll close. Shine Ball. And another copy of Wall of Revealing Light. So, what do we wind up here with? Um, two extra copies of Wall of Revealing Light is fine. Um... We got two copies of Gigantes, which was nice. The place that it gets you Fuma. I don't know how many copies we had before, but now we have a place at where are my Gigantes at. There they are. Um, I might just rock with this. See what I can come up with. The old how many Ages of Zera did I pull? Or Zera, one. Mm. Of course. Uh, I'll have to see how many of those I have. I might be doing something some with that. I don't know. But I think for the most part, this is fine. Um, I wanted to see if I could pick an extra copy of Ryu Koki, but on further recollection, I think it's a super in this set. And you know we had to make room for the first sarcophagus and uh, Dark Mirror Force. Um, but that's besides the point. Um, we'll just add this to the collection, and let's see what we can cook up. Okay, so here's what I've kind of thrown together for what are we on dark revolution 2 so i've got a couple things i've added a couple things here's the card by card so we're still on breaker the magical warrior good card basically our second copy of mst um excel force is good because on the on just drawing it good but we can also get it at the end of a giant rat chain if need be um of which we have three we are now running the three gigantes we still have the one copy of Injection Fairy Lily, just because it's another thing we can also grab off of Giant Rat. Um, we are still running our Monarchs, but we cut down on the Thestalos, and we also cut down on Amazonas Swordwoman to make up for the two Gigantes. We are still running our triple Nimble Momonga, because Giant Rat into Momonga turns into two more Momonga if they swing into that one as well. Uh, the Pyramid Turtles are here to grab the Ryu Kokis and possibly Spirit Reaper if need be. Uh, I still running Change of Heart, Dark Hole, Hammer Shot, uh, Monster Reborn, MST, Pot of Greed, Premature Barrel, Upstart. All good cards. For the most part, you know all what it does. Uh, then we still have the two Bottomless Trap Hole, uh, the one copy Magic Cylinder, the two copies of Phoenix Wind Windblast, which pitches a card and cycles a card back to the top of the deck. Ring Destruction, the two Sakuretsu Armors, the one Trench Tribute, the one Trap Dust Shoot, and the one Ultimate Offering. Um, our sideboard has changed up a little bit, so let's go through that. We are running three copies of Getsufuma. Uh, the reason we are running three copies of Getsufuma, like I mentioned in the polling video, video section, got, um, mentioned in the polling section is that these pair well against Dead Rat, because it just clears everything. It could also clear Spirit Reaper, if need be. Um, we're also running Jinzo, as always, Lava Golem. I forgot I had this. Tribe Infecting Virus is another way we can also help deal with Dead Rat. Because if, say, we pitch a card named Zombie, while they have a bunch of zombies out, they're all gone. Easy peasy. No one up cross out to help deal with face downs, just target and removal. Um, I'm going to keep running this card until it works. I'm going to keep running it until it works. Um, two compulses, copy of skill drain just in case, uh, two threatening roars, and two wall of revealing lights. Um, I think the changes that we made could lead to another win. I'm hopeful, um, but hopefully we do win this one and we're able to maybe get a wild card to get some of the things we may have missed out in Dark Revelations 2. Hopefully. Personally, I'm all for having another copy of a structure deck, because I think another one may have come out, uh, have come out before this point. 
I'm not sure, maybe the Monarch deck. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, let's get into the duel for Dark Revelation Volume 2. And welcome to Dark Revelation Volume 2. That certainly was a set, now wasn't it? Yes, it was. Do you get what you needed? Uh, can't say, can't say. Uh, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> the viewers know. <laughs> Technically, you know, because I'm pretty sure I've already told you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Now the question is, what do I pick? Damn it. Meta gained. <laughs> If you notice, I'm back up to 46 again. Oh, That's Jesus. Oh, this is a hand. Uh. That pass? Yeah, sometimes you just get it. Oh, yeah. Which is set. 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 What? What? Look, I gotta play around Dust Shoot somehow. Are... Are you back on Pac-Man? I don't know, but let's do what you're on. Oh, I really wish you didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna show my hand. I don't wanna show my hand. Oh. I don't wanna. Oh, no. Are you putting back said? You're putting back said, right? Funny enough... Tomato. Because you don't have any other normal summonable darks as far as I'm aware. You've got a point. You've got a point. At least I won't until next turn. <laughs> Maybe. Uh. Who knows. Mm. Mm. Oh, you're back on dead... Oh well, yeah. I love Dead Rat. It's such a fun strat. Uh, 14 direct? Yeah, no, I got none. Oh, then 200 direct, yeah, okay. You see, the problem is, though, if these guys don't die, I'm kind of... Zed and Chaos Sork are dead until I get them <sighs> in Bonk. Hey! Hey! <sighs> Okay, to the grave with Shining Angel. We're halfway there. Uh, Banish Pyramid Turtle. Okay, that's Gigantes. Alrighty. Take your 1700. Yup. That's how math works. Fast turn. Alright, I mean... Your back row frightens me, I'm not going to lie. It should. It should. There's like a bottomless back there or something. Because that's why you didn't actually shuffle back the set or the chaos work. There's definitely something back there. Well, do something fun. Banish a light in the dark. Mm -hmm. This is called putting out feelers. <laughs> there it is! Yep. See, I would much rather you hit my Chaos Sork than I would my said. <laughs> True. And I was like, there's definitely something back there. There's probably a second one back there, I guess. Good bad face. It's the tomato. Can you guess what it's summoning? Tomato. Tomato! All right. So, pay your 2,000. So you're at 3,400, so I take 2K. Yep. We both take the same amount this turn. Yeah. The grave, can you guess what it's grabbing? Tomato. Tomato. But here's the other Wait, thing. Here's the funny thing, though. What? The injection fairly lily is not just going to sit there and be a red herring. Ultimate offering. Oh, let's not forget that this works for both players. I know. Oh, 
So I guess I could also pay 500 and normal summon AD Warly, which would... Yeah. Or... Hmm. Banish an Earth. So not Gigantes. In response... Alright. The big guy. That's fair. Alright, now... We're gonna overlay. No, you're not! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna overlay. <laughs> you bunch of diamond direwolf me. <laughs> <laughs> you see... That would... You see, this works because I'm cheating. Uh, this works because I am beyond GX. My, my, my zero card extra deck. One dark monster with 1,500 less attack from the deck. I guess that actually applies to several things I've got. But how Such many of them are beneficial in face-up attack mode? I mean, Witch and Sangan are pretty good. <laughs> eh. You know what? Let's go for the witch, actually. Alright. Yeah. Alright, I take eight. Yep. These just work. There we go. Alright, witch effect. Hey, I gotta do the witch effect. <laughs> 1500 or less defense to my hand. I love how it doesn't specify light or dark. Uh, there's many things I can grab off of this, actually. Yeah, like Superconductor Tyrano. Or Mobius the Frost Monarch, with no summons on field. <laughs> Even with an ultimate offering. <laughs> exactly. Because there's no guarantee that I draw into a normal summonable monster. Uh, it's Breaker to hand. That's the answer. It's Breaker to hand. <laughs> Alright. So now we debate on how scary that back row is. Is it... A second bottomless. Wow, I'm in the dark. Let's play it safe for now. You could be god tier bluffing me. I could be. Yeah. Whoops. Wait. It's, it's wait. Never mind. It's my battle. Yeah. All right, I take no damage, but now you're down one Gigantes. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna pull the trigger. Banish a light in the dark. All right. That said... Anything? No, you're good. Normal summon breaker. All right. Give it that counter just to spend the counter. Uh, up this one. Ha! Ah. Oh, it was a bluff all along. Twas a bluff. Go to battle. All right. Yeah. Ah, I wasn't a bluff. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was, but the second one was not. You get jibated. And I'm not attacking your Gigantus with Breaker because I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> but that's Saku in Grave! <laughs> I don't want it. Why is Dead Rat actually kinda good against Chaos? Because. Because they're functionally the same deck for different types? Mainly because they just run a lot of removal. Oh, that would do it. <laughs> Good and the good thing for this is this is not a night assailant. You're lying to me. Well, I didn't, night assailant said two. However, it is cyber junk. Oh no. Banish five, baby. Oh. That certainly is a five, but. I also have Oh 
love how none of mine were normal summonable monsters, though. <laughs> Get beat by the flying squirrels. Two thousand. All right. Main two. Main two. Set. Set. Vanish in Earth. Go for the gigantes. Gigantes. All right. Declare effect. All right. For you, Koki. Okay. It's not the end of the world yet. We do have. Oh, I was like, "What's happening?" <laughs> I was so afraid. <laughs> All right. Actually, I should be on another 500 as well from the last time I used that. Uh, Looking at the logs, uh, I don't think I docked it last time. Actually. Oh well, none of it mattered. Okay. I've got. Option. <laughs> I mean, do Option. you though? I do. I do actually. I've got things I can do and stuff actually. It all depends on what that back row is though, really. <laughs> <laughs> because what your back row is could make or break this play. Well, you don't uh, have any. Well, you don't have any lights and graves, so chaos sorking coming out. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Hmm. Now I do a big thing. Set, maybe. It's just a good set. Battle. Mhm. Mm oh, why would I? I shouldn't beat over the Gigantes because it nukes my back row and gives you your Ryu Koki back. Get rid of that Momonga, though. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I know you were really hoping I would beat over your Gigantes without reading its effect. <laughs> you think I needed you to attack into it? Let's do it myself. Okay. Take your damage. So what is it? Four? Uh... See, 500. And then. Okay. Okay. I am so fine with that. It's Magician of Faith. Welp. <laughs> Snatch steel back to hand, baby. Welp. This is game. <laughs> I've it's... done it. Welp. <laughs> Oh, never give up. <laughs> what's, what's the TikTok sound? <laughs> mhm, mm mhm. Mm what's the TikTok sound? <laughs> never back down, never what? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that uh... really is what it felt like because I was like, your back row will determine if I live or die. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a fucky wucky on my part. That was a close one. Oh my gosh. I misplayed it like a son of a bitch. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and I, weirdly enough, played optimally for the first time in my life. <laughs> it will never happen again. Do not get used to it. Lamau. Especially those of you watching on YouTube. All three of you. Uh <laughs> hey, hey, our videos regularly do like 20 views. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, we're gonna set. I'm not the brightest knife in the field, so. We're gonna set. It's not acknowledging. We're gonna set thing. to play around Trap Dust Shoot. Okay. You can play around Trap Dust Shoot all you want. <laughs> I'll play around Trap Dust Shoot. It'll be fine. You know if you also play around Trap Dust Shoot? <laughs> well, the funny thing is, at the end of your draw phase, you drop to four, which actually doesn't play around trap, does shoot. Ah, biscuit. But I don't. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, you've got to go to two cards in hand to play around trap, does shoot. Mm. Mm. 
You're about to do it, aren't you? No. Oh. Uh, here's what I will do, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Flip it. Bet. Flip it. Bet. Yeah. <laughs> we will always gamble on the cyber jar. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh. Ooh. The hand. That's gonna be face down, so I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do you face down as well, and that's not the correct button. I'll get back to you when I get back to you. And you're gonna be face down. Set. <gasps> Set. Set. All right. <laughs> what a fucking setup. Get that Ryu Koki. Festolos. Festolos? Okay. That one. I'm fine with that one. It's it's a mystic shine ball. Take your two hundred. That is probably the best card you could have hit out of my hand, honestly, in my in my uh, estimates. The best card for me that you could have hit. This is this is a magician of faith, correct? I mean, I guess it's known information, so yeah. Noted. And there's no targets. Mm-hmm. Just, just get rid of that one real quick. That's smart. You want me to have Magician of Faith to smash steel again? Aww. <laughs> Truthfully, I don't have that great of monsters to hit right now. I guess that I have works, four back yeah. row. You're, you have four back row breakers going. <laughs> That's fair. All right. Stand by main. Uh. Gain a thousand. I wonder what I could have drawn. I hope it wasn't the breaker. What do you mean? It couldn't have been the breaker that you put back on top of my deck. Forceful sentry. Uh. Hmm. Go ahead. Show me your hand. Oh! <laughs> oh wait! <laughs> Normally I would say Ryu Koki, but Monster Reborn frightens me. <laughs> Cause if if you nuke any of my chaos monsters and simply reborn them to your field, I'm kinda screwed, aren't I? A little bit. Yeah, put that put that reborn back. It gives me fear. <laughs> that reborn specifically is scary. All right. And now the weather. You know. <laughs> How did we get here? How did we get here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we got here. <laughs> Everything is so stupid. I love it here. <laughs> Might as well flip up my garden salad here. Okay. Remember how I haven't normal summoned this turn yet? If you summon that breaker... How do you have that back? Because Dust Shoot doesn't shuffle the deck. This is returning to the deck. Yeah, it returns it to the top of the deck. Doesn't say that. Doesn't it? No! You're thinking of Wind Blast! <laughs> oh, I was thinking of Wind Blast! Hold up. Yeah, no, wait a minute. Why doesn't this call judge button work? <laughs> Hold up. You don't have to hit call judge. Let me, let me read. I've gotta fucking read cards. It's so... Wordings are weird and I hate everything. What's the first errata of this bad boy? Because I know it's been eroded. Why do I have to check my work? I hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the first errata does say that it's shuffled. So the new errata, you don't shuffle, but the old one, you do. But it doesn't specify where it goes in the deck. <laughs> 
So either way, I guess you should have disheveled. That's so weird. I hate reading. Re I hate reading the <laughs> common Yu-Gi-Oh player. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put this back to my deck, and I'm gonna <laughs> shuffle, and I'll draw my normal card. I swear to God, if it's wing I swear to God, if it's, it's breaker. Uh. Why are you quiet? <laughs> I'm not. Well, I swear to God. I'm not quiet. However, I'll put more of this. It's not breaker. But if you pop it, it does get us there. Pre-met. Okay, pre-met your Festalos. Yeah. Luckily, its effect doesn't trigger. Uh, are you going to please destroy my Witch of the Black Forest? Please? Please? Why not? Homegrown tomatoes. You're no fun! <laughs> Homegrown tomatoes. The third tomato is on its way. Alright. The snack that bites back tomato. <laughs> oh. Interesting. But first of all, I'm going to movement of cross out your face down. Ah, uh, biscuit. Oh. All right. Uh, and second of all, I didn't actually need you to, t to attack my uh, Witch of the Black Forest last turn. You want to know why? Hmm. Sparkle. Uh, response to that. Oh? Put, uh, instead of that Witch of the Black Forest going to your graveyard, it's going to go to the top of your deck instead. Oh. Okay. That's not ideal. You get nothing. You get nothing in the it. Okay. Well... Probably the best draw I could have ever gotten. What is it? We're gonna banish an Earth. Gigantes! We're gonna go battle phase. We're gonna swing for 19. Alright. It could be anything. It's my breaker! No! Way. Well, here's that admit defeat button, huh? Yeah! Dead Red is such a good matchup against Chaos. Why weren't people doing this at the time? Because people were too busy playing Chaos. That people were just like, it's like a horse with blinders on. They didn't see the Dead Rat right next to them. They couldn't smell the Dead Rat on the road. Yeah, literally. Oof. Not bad at all. It certainly is a hand. Oh, let me let me draw my turn one card. I almost forgot about that. That's still a thing. Yeah, that uh, is still a thing. Play a face down. Oh, and I will Rhoda. No. It's been a minute since we've seen Rhoda. It has been. Well, you know what I'm grabbing with it. It's Exiled Force. It's still Exiled Force. <laughs> I mean, it could have been DD Warrior Lady. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's not impossible, I guess. I will normal summon. Will I? Will, will you? I actually? No, I won't. I will set this bad boy instead. It's a night assailant, isn't it? There's actually a few things that could be weirdly enough. I love how it could be night assailant, it could be cyber jar, uh, it could be magician of faith to recycle my rota, uh... It could be so many things. There's actually many options. Are you trying to get the dice to determine what it is? <laughs> You're like, dice, tell me your secrets. Understand by. Ah, biscuit. Show me that hand. Oh. Oh. I mean, the answer is probably Gigantes. Yeah, it actually is. It's blatantly Gigantes. Put that back. Shovel that back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that I know how to read cards. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Nah, it's gonna be one of them. I already forget the other cards. 
Hey, what were those other cards in your hand? It's common knowledge. Uh, two Saku, a bottomless, a wing blast, and a lily. There we go. So, one of those is the Saku, at least. Actually, you probably kept back a Saku. That way, you could cycle it to wing blast. Uh, probably. Uh, either way, go ahead and night assailant that lily. Mm-hmm. That, that's why I was figuring it was going to happen. I didn't want to blow 2,000 on a night assailant. Why not? Because... You should definitely blow 2,000 on a night assailant. <laughs> I'm already one game down. I can't afford that. Agent of Creation Venus. Right. Oh. No, no balls for you. I've, I've, I've cut them off. Let me... Let me... Yay! <laughs> That's a card. <laughs> that draw is bad. Uh, is that question mark? Even I'm not 100% certain about this play right now. Take another 200. Got a spite. Game will be decided by Night Assailant Beats. Pretty much. That's what it seems like. <laughs> okay. I'll set that. I'm going to flip summon the Magician of Faith. We oh. are actually going to put the Rota back to hand. Oh my god. And now we're going to Rota. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Rota for DD Warrior Lady. Oh my god. Sometimes you draw Moth, you know? I've actually had Moth in my hand since turn one, so when I was going through the options, I wasn't entirely wrong. Oh my lord. I this... didn't lie to you. That's the important part. This is this is butt cheeks. However, this doesn't mean I get to summon my uh, Diddy Warrior Lady. Alright. Uh, 15? Right. Yep. I'll be taking the other 500, though. All right, main two. Uh, I don't know if you... Oh, I, I don't. Okay, so I've got to think, actually. Do <laughs> I, though? No, I don't. Uh, the thinking is done. We are passing turn. <laughs> I've done it. I got there. If you know I'm going to cross at me, I'm going to cry. Wait. I will summon Exile Force still, but I will know when to cross out you. <laughs> you good there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Physically. Physically. <laughs> uh, uh, 300 direct? 1000 direct? Not when you keep a fucking Exile Force. That makes sense. Getting some fucking damage on the board. <laughs> that shit out of here. Alright. Cream. Targeting. Exiled force. <laughs> oh. What are you shuffling back? What are you putting on top of the deck? The Exiled Force or the Preem? Uh, Those are really bad options for you, truthfully. They both are. I think I'll one shuffle back hard. the Exiled Force. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like one is much worse than the other. Okay. You don't know what you have done. I was hoping to save that Zayborg, but... Whatever. Is it said? That's ah, Sork. However, let's see here. You don't have any monsters to banish. What do you mean? Wait, what? What's pretty... Oh, I thought I don't you. Have need... to I thought you need to banish for cost for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm going to declare it and just banish your pyramid turtle out of existence. Ugh. 
300 direct. We've already gone through the two Saku. We've already gone through the bottomless. We've already gone through the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. So everything else is unknown. Okay. Normal Shining Angel. Alright. 1400 direct. 300 direct. 23 direct. Cylinder! Okay, that's fine. Alrighty. You know, sometimes you just get it. Hey, Pog. <laughs> You know, sometimes... Sometimes you no longer get it. <laughs> sometimes you just keep winning. Oh. Ah, Gigantes. Okay. You're about to tribute for Ryukoki. No. I'm tributing for Mobius. Oh, that's much worse for me. Get it out. It was Draining Shield. <laughs> Had I know. Anyway, battle phase. I'll take that hundred. Get that out of here. We're back in this. Upstart. I'm fine with that. Oh, that is the worst upstart draw, I think. Uh... Could I 5D chess something? You know what? I will. Normal exile. Oh, I hate everything. Do you know what I was going to pop with it, though? You were probably going to pop one of your light monsters. When you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a god tier move. It would have been. Let's get rid of the known information. Alright. Alright, special summon one light with 1500 or less attack from my deck. Do you only have one uh, Shining Angel? No, I do not. That's not Shining Angel. What is it? <gasps> that is the I opposite. Clicked... That is the literal opposite of Shining Angel. I literally clicked the Shining Angel next to it, and for some reason it was like, you mean tomato, right? No, no. I did not mean tomato. <gasps> oh. <laughs> They're really good or really bad. So anyway, Smash Steel. I'm fine with this. So anyway. I'm okay with this. Banish a light in the dark. It's either Sad or Chaos Sork. Chaos Sork. Ah. Declare Sork. Literally all three of my Pyramid Turtles have been banished. Oh, that's fantastic for me. I'm still alive. Alright. And you'll gain a thousand on your next turn. You know what the best part about uh, Chaos Orc is? What? You can only hit face up monsters. Oh, that is true. That is indeed true. <laughs> that card is funny. <laughs> so let's see. We taking calculated risks. Mm -hmm. Mobius into the face down. Okay. Giant rat effect. Okay. Oh, anything? this is going to be my manga now. Do I take that calculated risk? Can I afford to take that risk? I mean, it would gain you life points, so yeah. I well, I know. I just wasn't, I wasn't aware if I'd actually have enough life points to live off of it, but I do. Hey, I'll sork into my manga. Take 1,000. No, take 1,300. Yeah, you take 13. Gain 1,000. Gain 1,000. Go grab two more mamangas. Yep. Go ahead and gain a thousand already. You know I'm about to attack one of those Momongas. Yeah, I was going to choose that one anyways. Actually, I was choosing that one. <laughs> okay. All right. Gain your thousand on your standby. This is a close game. <laughs> oh. 
we're up, we're back square one. It was a shine ball. It was. It was a bluff the whole time. I figured it was like Cyber Jar or something. <laughs> we are in top deck city. <laughs> Give me that. Yes, I happily will. Is it Cyber Jar? Do it. Do it. Well, I literally have no other options, so. Pull the trigger. Sometimes you're a god. I mean, all you're getting is a tomato. All I'm getting is a tomato, really? That's what you're saying right now? Yeah, that's all I'm getting on field. Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling great now. Okay. <sighs> Uh, read hammer shot real quick. With the highest attack, your choice if tied. Speaking of, uh, uh motherfucker, the first line of text. See you. You left that up on purpose. No, I didn't actually. I was supposed to flip it face down. I just forgot. That's, but, uh, that was <laughs> miseducated. Guess I'm <laughs> wrong information. Uh, why isn't this call judge all, button work? The, the first line of text says destroy the one attack position monster on the field. Even if it was in face ah, up defense, you still couldn't target it. You know what? You know what? We can rectify this situation. <laughs> That's why I was being like, Shuckle, please read your card. <laughs> no. We can rectify the situation. <laughs> in response. <sighs> okay. The question is, I'm actually doing this to the Reaper. Okay. I'm not letting you card rip me. This is the part where you're Ryukoki me, isn't it? <laughs> um, no. It's the part where I play pre-mat. Ah, uh, that's fair. And I go and grab... Either Zaborg or Mobius, I guess. They're both 2400. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, this is going to be down to the wire right now. So we're going to go in with uh, Gigantes over oh, anyway, tomato. tomato. Uh, can you guess? Tomato. It's tomato. And we're attacking for a thousand. Okay. The grave. Do I have another target? An another dark with 15 or 100 less attack? I, I do actually. Is it night assailant? No. <gasps> Switch. All right. Hey. So you pull that trigger. <laughs> we got much worse for you, my friend. I think we. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And... It's the most clutch top deck of my life! <laughs> I, could, I just could not get going in the early turns. But I however... Get, I, I knew it was in your hand. I saw it all! Oh yeah, you did see my cards. I'm stupid. We, uh, we were top deck voting then. <laughs> that... that d those duels were so smooth. Literally any of those could have been won and lost at any point in time. Jesus. Holy, this is the best chaos matchup I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Gee, here's where my next two draws in a row were. Oh. <laughs> in other words, if I didn't top deck that Dark Hall, I was more than likely dead. Where are my other Hold good on. cards? I guess I could have tributed for Mobius, popped the pre-mat, special summoned... Said, uh, then reborn something from my grave or your grave. I could have reborn your Zaborg. So I guess even if I didn't dark hole, I probably still could have taken it. But that was that was close. That was so close. Like, honestly, like good lord, what's Those next? Those were so good. What's next? Is it elemental? elemental energy? Oh god, it is elemental energy, isn't it? I think it's unfortunately elemental energy. 
Oh god, we're about to enter that weird stretch of Yu-Gi-Oh before Force of the Breaker, aren't we? So what you're saying is we're going to be on the same decks as we are right now until Force of the Breaker? Actually, no. Duelist Pack 2 might change some things. Maybe. Uh, after Elemental Energy, we've got the two Duelist Packs, and those are actually not bad. Oh yeah, I might do something with that. But we'll find out next time for Elemental Energy.